All right, testing, testing, testing. Is this thing on? Can you all hear me? Hopefully, I hope so. It has been a long time since I've done this. Uh, up here in the booth tonight, bringing you Front Row Esports Truck Series race number seven for these drivers tonight. This is Tom Freitas here from Pennsylvania. We're going to uh, bring you all the action tonight for these Front Row Esports Truck Series boards. Got about 18 drivers here in the field tonight as you're watching some drivers go around completing their laps you got Hanna lagunas there getting a little loose there actually getting really loose nice save though oh locked it down hey look at that it's a good save these uh trucks are looking a little loose tonight drivers have definitely got to wheel them should be fun to watch hopefully sound is good uh i don't even have the stream up to look at comments right now to bear with me um you're also going to bear with me you're going to have to deal with uh seeing the iRacing kind of overlay in the background. Uh, I'm also race control tonight, so I do apologize. Um, so I got to, you know, I know most of the drivers by voice by now, but for some I don't, so I need to see who's talking to me and, you know, uh, my, do my due diligence with uh, race control as well. So I do apologize for that, but we're going to do our best to bring you a, a good show tonight, a good broadcast, and hopefully... Uh, good race that's all i can say we got about a minute and a half until we got a grid uh real quick just want to go with the points we got a chris carroll they're leading uh alex in second kyle wellman in third donnie honeycutt in fourth tyler honeycutt in fifth um really good tight points battle um the top five are only separated by about 30 points right now so um Good points battle there for the top five. Uh, I think Texas is going to be a really good race for these boys. A really good show, I hope. And, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go over that. Just give me, give me a second here. All right. Again, I do apologize. It's part of, uh, fortunately, part of the whole uh, doing... Uh, race control and uh, broadcasting. Um, just give me, bear with me a second. I'm trying to get the stream up so I can check sound on my end. And uh, I'll also be watching comments check as well. So end. if anybody out there watching can let me know how the sound is uh, and if they can hear everything, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. All right. This qualifying is over. So we got Michael Hayes, Kyle Wellman, Alex Harris, Hunter Lagunas, and Donnie Honeycutt there in the top five here for Qual. Um, used to seeing Chris Carroll and Tyler up there and uh, Zip, Brian Zimmerman. I don't know. They must have had some issues in qualifying. I'm not exactly sure what happened. But uh, I guess we will uh, we're gonna have to work the way from the back. Hopefully they have a, a good, strong uh, race truck for sure. Um, so I'm the, you know, all going to have to... Um, so you are all going to have to bear with me here a little bit. I got to get ready for the free race spiel and uh, get these drivers good to go and locked and loaded. And uh, I'll be back here all with you here in a minute. It, it changes automatically, y'all. Don't worry about it. Uh, I was trying to give you all a qual set tonight with just qual tape. Just give you all a little something different. Um, all right, drivers, real quick. She all know, you all know the rules by now. Start of the race on green, restart on leader. Leader, you have lane on the restart. You got 150 lap, 115 laps tonight is your distance. 75% fuel, you got one spare truck on the hauler. You also got three set the good years in the pits to use whenever you want to use them. Uh, stages, end of stage one will be lap, uh, end of lap 25. Uh, stage two will be the end of lap 60. So that'll be coming to 26, coming to 61. Um, yeah, uh, you know. Race clean, race hard, race smart. Again, uh, you're going to have to give me a little leeway tonight and not be able to get back to everybody right away because I'm also broadcasting. Let's uh, put on a good show tonight. Race hard, race clean. And uh, don't make me work super hard tonight. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you all go out to have fun, put on a good show. It's Texas. I know you guys will do a good job and have a good race. So look, uh, look forward to calling this and uh, hopefully seeing you all at the end.
All right. Well, we got drivers rolling off tonight. And uh, we got our top two there. Uh, Michael Hayes, Kyle Wellman. Wellman has been really running really well in the truck series this year. Um, yeah, I feel like, you know, if my memory serves correctly, right, I feel like he's been running better in the truck series than he has the uh, cup series. So it's definitely going to be uh, interesting to uh, see how he does tonight. I wish him the best of luck as far as that goes. Um, yeah. Oh, we got drivers getting caught up here. Getting all squared away. All right. Going to watch these. Uh, get ready for the start of the race here. Pace truck is going to be pulling down here. In just a moment. Going to let these guys fire off. They got to go when the green flag comes out. So I'm ready to kick things off here at Texas. Race number seven. And here they go. Michael Hayes with a good start. Kyle Wellman, looks like he was sleeping there on the start there. Got to left that door open there for Alex Harrison. 74 is going to look down to the inside. And they go there. Two by two by two by two. All the way through the pack behind Michael Hayes there. Go down the back stretch again, two by two by two. Michael Hayes out there, loving that clean air, loving, looking, loving what you see in the rearview mirror. Them all two by two. I bet you he's thinking, you boys keep on racing. I'm just gonna say sigh and I'll see y'all later. A good battle here for second with uh, Kyle Wellman here and Alex Harris. Actually a good battle. Ooh, one truck went way up high, looked like Hunter Lagunas outside the groove there. He is up there a little bit high. Some blocking going on down the back stretch. Good work out there. All right, top four about single file. We got Rhonda there on the outside, trying to make that outside work. I did hear drivers say in the practice the outside lane might be fast. So it's going to be fun to uh, see how that goes tonight for sure. Let's uh, zoom this back out a little bit and see what's going on. Oh, we got uh, Mark Miller there on the outside and Nick Lamb. Mark Miller moving his way up there through the field. Uh, looking forward to seeing Mark have a good run. He's been doing a lot of practice this week and having some good luck in the uh, truck races this week and here and I, so hoping he has a good race. Looking forward to that as well. Uh, we got a, looks like we got a battle up there for third. Brody Mears and Alex Harris. Alex on that outside, going to keep them RPMs up and it's like no contest. Looks like the outside, or at least the middle lanes, where you want to be tonight. It's going to be interesting to see how that plays out tonight as these tires start to wear. Oh, Honey cut a little loose. Ronnie had a checkup. Got a little loose with the checkup. Yeah. And, uh, that's going to allow... Is that Brody? That's Brody in the 88. I apologize. Got to get his number right. One of these years. Um... Yeah, that's Brody in the 88 truck there on the outside of uh, Honeycutt. That's Donnie Honeycutt on the outside. His son is somewhere. Where is his son? He started in the back there, Tyler Honeycutt. Still running 14th right now. Um, good battle, though, side by side. The only issue is that's going to let these front three just pull away. So they are battling really hard there for the fourth place. Again, I mean, he got stage points tonight. It's going to be a good race for stage points. Top 10 gets stage points. You know, it's only a, you know, uh, lap 25 will be the end of the first stage. So, the you know, drivers are going to get all they can out of these first sets of tires. It's really, not going to really about, worry about saving tire too much tonight in the first stage. Of this. Pretty sure it'll be 25 laps. It's like everybody is pretty much single file. Brody way up high there on the outside. I don't know if doing that on purpose or the truck's just getting a little loose he's going high but um, Mark Miller had the same line there maybe they know something that I don't I mean hey looks like it's working that's for sure he got a big run there down the back stretch got up to the uh, tailgate there of uh, Alex Harris and Mark Miller there on the outside of Ronnie he's making that outside line work uh, looks like he's going to try it again there and again Brody with that outside line there Mark there on the outside of Ronnie, and he's probably going to complete that pass down the backstretch. He is. He got the momentum, got that uh, 
That old Ford F-150 wound up, and he just uh, took over sixth place there. Good job there by Mark Miller. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Let's, uh, let's go check in on Chris Carroll. He started there in the back as he has worked his way up to uh, 13th position. Just got past his teammate. I'm sorry, 12th now. Just got past his teammate there, Larry Bell. And uh, he did start back in... Uh, 15th, so he's gained some spots here on the start. One driver falling back is Hunter. Um, he started up towards the front. He's now back to 11th place. I don't know if there's something wrong with his truck or, or whatnot. He just looks really off base. You see uh, Chris Carroll's just gaining on him like no tomorrow. For sure. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, Chris Carroll's going to catch him here in a lap or two and try to get around. They are teammates, so I don't expect uh, Hunter to fight him too much. And also, Chris Carroll's other teammate there got uh, Brian Zimmerman um, up there in the 10th spot. So, now Brian's not known one to really put on a fight. If someone's fast, he's going to let him go. As uh, these guys got his draft and they're sucking up. Oh, look underneath. That was, uh, that was a little close, I will say. Last minute decision there on Hunter. As uh, Zimmerman's going to go high, it's going to leave the door open for Chris Carroll. Chris Carroll's going to send it down there at the bottom, gets a good run down there. And well, now what they do with Hunter? They both catch Hunter. They're going to take him three wide. Oh, look at Zimmy thought about it there, but Chris said, you leave that door open, I'm going to take it. Can't leave a door open around Chris Carroll. He's just going to stick his nose in there. And he's going to make a move. Uh, awesome driving there by Chris Carroll as far as that goes. Well, let's see what else we got going on here. This is definitely the best battle right now on track gear for 11th place, 11th and 12th, Chris Carroll and Hunter. But uh, I'm going to check back in on the leaders as they are two by two here for first through fourth. Wellman there on the outside of Michael Hayes. And you got Brody Mears who's up there in third place. So again, that outside line is where the momentum's going to be. Can Kyle Wellman make it work there, there on the outside and get past Michael? He's trying. For the side draft, keeping that tight. He's working it down the back stretch. He's trying. The only issue with these two guys running side by side like this, the rest of the pack isn't going to catch them. And in about another lap, we're going to have a, you know, instead of a two truck battle for the lead, we're going to have a five truck battle for the lead. As, uh, we've got about 10 laps to go here in stage one, being green flag the entire time. This guy's putting on a really good show. Because, uh, oh, He's going to take it. All right. Michael's going to keep that lead there on the inside. Again, the only issue running that outside line with as Wellman's doing is going to heat up that right front, I'm assuming, tonight. And uh, truck's going to start to get a little tight on. Oh, big wiggle. Looks to the inside. Clips that apron. Nice save there by Kyle Wellman. That could have been nasty. Took out a lot of trucks. So awesome job there by Wellman there to uh, save it. So, say. Great job there by Wild Man. Well, uh, do got uh, old Chris Paul Hamas up here in the booth with me. Chris, how you doing? Still working on sound. 10-4, 10-4. So we got uh, these guys are single file right now for the top 10. But oops, as soon as I say that, they go too wide. Anyways, we got uh, Alex underneath the Brody there. You got Tyler Honeycutt, Ronnie Morrison, and Martin Oh, there. Uh, these guys are definitely putting on a good show here. Again, I do apologize for the lack of camera work tonight. Um, pretty ill-prepared tonight. I do apologize, but uh, we're working on it. We're, we're going to go through it tonight. I promise. We got a cluster. We got a cluster here behind Brody. It is it's like half the field. Put him under a blanket right now. I, this ain't Daytona, but it looks like Daytona, the way these boys are running, putting on a really good show here. Got uh, Tyler, uh, Donnie Honeycutt there underneath Alex, and Chris Carroll has drove, driven from the back right now, battling for sixth place right now. I don't know what he did, but uh, I don't know if he's got an extra you know, cylinder tonight. Maybe he's got nine cylinders instead of eight. Uh, I don't know. He's got something. He's looking to make it three wide. Things better of it here. I think with that apron got a little wiggle, good save there, Bob, for sure. Yeah, awesome battle. Again, two by two. 
Got the right there on the outside. He's going to take it there on Brody. Got Donnie Honeycutt thinking about it. He's going to put it to Mark Miller up high. Three wide going into turn three. As Brody says, nope, I'm good. He bails out. Looks like he might be coming down pit road. He is. Brody is, oh, a little loose. He's coming down pit road. And, ooh, Hunter just chops the nose off there. Uh, who is that? Was that, uh, oh, that was Nick Lamb. Chops the nose off there, Nick Lamb. Again, we have still two by two. Chris Kale going to send it in there three wide. He is underneath Donnie Honeycutt. Mark Miller on the outside. Here we go. Three wide into turn number three. Plenty of room for these drivers to get that done tonight. Chris Kale, just no contest. Sends it underneath and just drives by him like they're standing still. Oh, Mark on the wall there a little bit. Good save. Got a pretty little love tap there. I'm going to say that was no harm, no foul. Looks like the right side of that truck's pretty good. But Donnie tried to send it in there on Chris Kale. Chris Kale just shut the door. Now you got Chris Kale underneath Mark Miller for fifth place. It's going to move Chris Kale up to fourth. That is, the, uh, what, 16 spots he's gained since the start of the race? No, 12, 12 spots? Yeah, math. Sorry, all I can do. Oh, door banging here on the try over. Good job saving it there, boys. Yeah, Chris Carroll is trying to get that thing to the front. He wants some stage points. I know this is, uh, he's running for points here in the truck series. Due to some other commitments he has uh, Friday nights, he can't run for points in the cup series. So I know uh, he's going to be getting all he can out of it tonight. Uh, try to extend that points lead. Again, great battle right now. You got Mark Miller, looks like he's falling back to seventh. As uh, Donnie Honeycutt has passed him. Yeah, he's making that outside work. He's still holding tough. He did come, he did have a pretty good starting spot. I believe he started in 10th place tonight. Ah, that's right. That is Devin Johnson there in the uh, five truck. My apologies. I was calling that Nick Lamb. We got two five trucks tonight. Uh, got to go ahead and figure that out what's going on here with that. But, um, oh, Mark got there a little, Mark got a little loose. Good save, though, by Mark Miller there in the, in the six truck. He's got uh, Nick Lamb starting looking underneath. He got Mark there back on the outside, though. He's looked on the outside of Larry Bell. He's going to try to make that outside line work, but these drivers do have two laps for the end of stage number one. Well, Nick was thinking about it there, but said, no, I'm not going to stick my nose in there. It's only the first stage. Yeah. Larry Bell and Mark Miller, they're battling for that final uh, point spot. No, I apologize. Larry Bell's in the final point spot. He was sitting there in 10th. You got Nick Lamb there in 11th. And Mark Miller dropped back there to third. Or not third. 13th. I can count you all. I apologize. It has been one of those days. All right. Well, as we get ready to finish this day, let's go back and check out these, uh, see how the leaders are doing. Got to the leaders. Uh, that Michael Hayes is checked out here. He's got about a 10 truck length lead. Got Michael Wellman and Alex Harris there. Yeah, Kyle Wellman and uh, Alex Harris there battling for uh, second place here as we come to the end of stage number one here. Who's it going to be? Chris Carroll has driven his way up to fourth place. Got a battle there for fifth. Coming across the line. Should be the end of stage number one. It is. That is the end of stage number one. It's, uh, that was an awesome stage there, flag to flag. A lot of side-by-side -side racing. That was uh, a lot of fun to see. Um, we get these uh, drivers are going to go around. We're going to catch the pace car. And uh, well, we're going to get them all. I'm sure they're going to come down pits, get four fresh feel goods, and get ready to get back out for uh, stage number two. Congrats to Michael Hayes, our stage one winner. Kyle Wellman finishing P2. Alex Harris, third. Chris Carroll, fourth. Donnie Honeycutt, fifth. Ronnie Morrison, sixth. Devin Thomas Johnson in seventh. He's a newcomer to the front row. Good job there in P7. Ronald Laguna is eighth. Brian Zimmerman, ninth. And uh, Nicholas Lamb will round out the top ten for the truck series. The end of stage number one. Awesome stage there, drivers. Great job, great racing. That was uh, fun to call. Good job.
Congrats, uh, Michael, there on uh, stage number one win. All right, we're going to let these drivers come down to pit road here. Again, I'm assuming everybody's going to come down pit road except Brody. Brody is a lap down. He's probably going to stay out trying to get a lap back. So everyone coming down pit road. Oh, Wellman giving Mike a little bump there, telling, hey, you got to speed up, go a little faster. He's giving a little push, saying, hey, go quicker. Exactly. The bump drives him down pit road. Well, no one got speeding penalties. That, that worked out pretty good. You'll get lucky, dog, here, Brody. Chris Carroll with a really quick stop. Oh, it's going to be... Who was that? Was that Wellman? That was Wellman. Wellman, new leader. That was an awesome race there on pit road. So it's going to be, I believe it. No, is it Michael? I don't know. I'm going to find out when they cycle back across the line. That looked close. They got Chris Carroll who gained a spot on pit road. Devin who gained three spots on pit road up to fourth place, it looks like. Alex dropped two. Donnie Honeycutt dropped one. Brian Zimmerman stayed the same. Hunter Lagunas dropped one. Uh, yeah, some interesting to see. We'll let these guys file out here when they come off pit road. Wait, wait for timing and scoring here to catch up. And again, anyone out there watching, uh, please type in chat how sounds are. Because again, I do not know. So if you can all let me know, I'd greatly appreciate that. Anyone watching. Hey, uh, if anyone's watching the broadcast and you can check sound, let me know how it is so I can make adjustments because I can't do it. All right, these drivers are going to be getting two to go here. Yeah, they are on two to go. Let me get one to go next time by. And uh, get ready to restack them here and let these drivers go back at it one more time. So Chris Carroll drove through the field up to fourth place, came out of the pits third. He has a bad, fast truck tonight. I don't know what he did, but uh, he's got a special set of tires, maybe? Uh, you know, special engine we don't know about? I mean, hey, but uh, whatever he has, I want it. He is fast tonight for sure. We got uh, Brody there behind the pace truck. He will be getting a wave around when uh, we come to one to go. Which will then put him one lap down. That is what I mean. I greatly appreciate it. All right. I just, uh, drivers let me know they can hear me on the broadcast, which I greatly appreciate. As far as that goes. All right. So. So let's see. So right now, a top ten here coming to uh, ready to start stage number two. So Michael Hayes, Kyle Wellman, Chris Carroll, third, Devin in uh, fourth, Alex in fifth, uh, Donnie Honeycutt in sixth, Brian Zimmerman in seventh, uh, Hunter Lugina's in eighth, Ronnie Morris in ninth, Larry Bell in tenth. We got uh, Nick Lamb going to be eleventh, uh, Dwayne Honeycutt in twelfth, Ronald Judd in thirteenth, Carl. Matt's in 14th, uh, Michael Rivas in 15th, Tyler Honeycutt 16th, and Mark Miller in 17th, Broken News in 18th. Tanner did not start. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to Mark Miller and Tyler Honeycutt. They uh, must have had some issues on pit road. I didn't see them get any black flags. Uh, Mark did. Oh, Mark did have a long pit stop. He's probably getting some damage fixed. Tyler Honeycutt also had a long pit stop. He must have had some damage there in the back of the pack. Getting some damage fixed, fixed as well. So uh, we said we go on board here for uh, with the leader at the start of this race, huh? Let's say let's. Uh, let's say let's do that. All right. Let's, uh, let's go on board here and. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna get the drone out there looking at his hood and watch this start here. 
pace trucks pulling off here and set these drivers to go green one more time. Here we go. They are off. Mike with another good start. Sounded like he was starting there in uh, first gear. I wonder if Wellman was starting in uh, second gear. That's one way I got a good. Michael got a good launch there. Got Chris Carroll surge. He doesn't know what lane to go. Looking down there at the bottom. This is a good shot here looking uh, <clears throat> back at the whole field. I'm not going to lie. Wellman with a good run, though. He's going to look to the inside. There he is to the inside. Wide open. So Chris Carroll's going to follow. Well, sounded like Mike little lift there. Letting them go. You got Alex looking on the inside as well. You should see a gaggle of trucks behind these boards. Yeah, it's a fun start to, to watch these boys, I gotta say. All right, we got Alex Harris and uh, Michael side by side here for third place. Got, uh, so you got Kyle Wellman there and Chris Cal moving to first and second. But Michael's gonna lift, let him go. And this is Michael's first time being out in that dirty air this whole race. He's been he led most of the laps of stage one, had that clean air. The trucks are gonna handle way different back here in the dirty air. Interesting to see how he copes, copes with that dirty here. Got uh, Zimmy there moving up to uh, fifth place. Uh, fourth place, I'm sorry. You got Alex there in third. Michael's there back to fifth. Um, got uh, Hunter just sends it on the outside. No fear. That kid's just, you know what? The truck's going to stick. I'm going to hope it's going to stick. I'm going to send it wide open. And it worked. He gained three spots in one turn. But, uh, Nice run there by uh, Michael Hayes. Hunter Lagoons, I apologize if you're looking at Michael Hayes as well. Side by side, Hunter and Michael. Hunter with a good run on Zimmy. He's going to dive down on the inside. Send it on the inside. He make it stick. He makes it stick. He's right down there at that bottom. He's going to clear Brian Zimmerman. So let's see. Hunter was falling back at the end of that first run. Let's see if... Uh, figured something out. He was just trying to save some tire. As uh, Looks like he is on a mission up there at the front. Um, Ronnie Morrison there on the outside of Donnie Honeycutt. He's looking. He got it. He's going to say, you know what, I'm trying to go for two here down the back stretch. Down on the outside of Michael Hayes. And now you got a battle for second. You got Alex Harris there on the outside of Chris Carroll. Side by side down the trial. Looked like Hunter thought about putting it three wide there for a second. He was, he was looking, but he thought better of it. He's going to send it again on the outside. Gonna burn up that right front doing that, but, uh, you know, hey. Yeah. We'll find out at the end of the run, for sure. Chris Kale had a lift there. Fell back a little bit. Side by side for the lead going down there in turn number three. Kyle Wellman. Alex Harris, again, going side by side. Looks like uh, Hunter's going to go to the outside, try to give uh, Wellman a push there. Drafting help. Draft is a big part of these trucks here at Texas. You might not think so, but it is. And the aerodynamics, if you're behind the truck, you got that dirty air. It's, it's, uh, truck gets real tight. Does not want to turn. We got, uh, looks like Hunter's going to try to clear him here. And three and four. No, Wellman's coming back on the inside. Again, Hunter's going to have that run here down the back straightaway. So they go side by side in turn one. Another three wide back there for fourth. Chris Carroll said, nope, I don't want no part. I'm going to lift and save my stuff. So you got Brian Zimmerman in there now in fourth. Ronnie, Mil Ronnie Morrison in fifth. He's looking for fourth. He's sticking his nose in. We're still side by side there for the lead. Alex Harris is looking. He's like, I don't, he's not sure where to go. Finally, we got, well, we got cleared there. Uh, he's, these top three going to ride, try to pull the way, or are they going to, it doesn't look like, nope, they're going to, nope, Hunter sending, again, uh, sending it again on the outside. Still there on the outside, going down the back straight away. Like Hunter got a little tight there as Alex on the That's going to allow Alex to move into second place. 
This is what Kyle Wilmer wants to see. He wants to see these guys side by side battling hard so he can just try to pull the way here. Actually got a little loose down the bottom, so it's washing up the racetrack. That's going to allow Hunter to get a run on the outside. Clears him down the back straightaway. Got a nice run there on the leader. Got that draft. He's looking. He's looking. Again, you know, stage break now, the 20 laps till the end of stage number two. Uh, probably with these guys, maybe just ride a little bit, right? Get a little tired, but, you know, again, this is a relatively short race, only 115 laps for these truck drivers. Yeah, we got Hunter on the outside again there in turn number one. He's, he's enjoying the outside there, turn number one. But uh, also, again, it's getting a little harder on that right front. So it's interesting to see how that plays out for him as the run goes on. And these guys are side by side for the lead. We also got a battle back there for sixth and seventh. Side by side battle. And at some point, if these guys get single file tonight, um, I'd like to do a little, you know, walk through the field. Um, you know, trying to let these guys single file it out for a minute here. Stop racing side by side, but hey, side by side racing is what we want to see that we came to watch. And uh, they're definitely putting on an awesome show. Again, for anyone just tuning in, I do apologize. It's a bare bones broadcast tonight. I've got a lot of my overlays aren't working. Um, also, I apologize for the overlay, high racing overlay in the background. I'm also doing race control, so I got to see who's talking to me and be able to monitor a few things as far as that goes. So I do apologize, but uh, I got these drivers put on a hell of a good show tonight. I'm really enjoying it. We got the, ooh, Michael starting to come back there. He's looking down on the inside of Ronnie Morrison. Again, Wellman there on the inside of still. These guys have been side by side for the lead for about three laps now, but has allowed that pack behind them to catch up. So instead of a two truck battle for the lead, we got a seven truck battling right now for the lead. That's always fun. Got Alex there on the outside. He's gonna get a big run. He's gonna try to push his teammate. No, it looked like he was gonna try to sneak to the inside there, but Brian Zuman had his nose there. Good catch there by Alex. That could have been, well, it could have been a wreck. Good job there by Alex. Good awareness. So top two and now single file. Your side by side. Fourth place. Alex has cleared him. There we go. As they are all now a little bit single file. It looks like Hunter's starting to get tight. He's starting to get real slow there in the, get there the center one. He seemed to have him to lift. Alex looking to the inside of Brian Zimmerman. Uh, not gonna, not gonna happen. Ronnie with a big run on the outside. He's gonna send it on the outside there. Ronnie trying to move up there for fourth place. Did he get it? Yes, he did. He clears him. Ronnie Morris up to fourth place with Alex Harris behind him. Has he got? Uh, don't forget Michael Hayes led almost every lap there in stage one. You got Chris Carroll behind him. We got those are two really fast trucks tonight. And uh, they're saving a little bit of tire. They're starting to come back to the front. I was going to clear Ronnie. And he's Michael Hayes up in fourth place. Ronnie Morrison's trying to follow him there. We got a battle for fifth. Chris Carroll, Ronnie Morrison. Chris Carroll's going to send it down the bottom. He got it. He's going to try a slide job. He is. Is he going to clear him? He left the door open for Ronnie to get that run. So, that was kind of nice of him. I think I might have chopped his nose off there, but that's just me. Um, uh, you know, Chris Carroll, great driver, very talented, but also one of the cleanest drivers I've ever met. To be honest with you. Um, yeah, we're still side by side right now for third place and fourth place. I, I don't know which lane to go with, I don't know who to go with. A lot, of, a lot of fast trucks tonight. Everyone's out there looking good. Um, uh, they are pretty much single filed out there in the back, so we are going to stick up here to the within the top five. This is where the battle is, where the action is. Chris Carroll, then again, thought about sticking his nose in there, I thought, but I like the thought better of it. Ryan's been up there on that high side again. Chris Carroll's going to try to get a run. Is he going to push his teammate? No, no. Wasn't close enough to push his teammate. Back there on that outside. Good run by Chris Carroll there on the outside. Ryan Zimmerman just 
sent it up there in the second place. He kind of opened the door himself there a little bit. It's, uh, oh, Hunter got around there on the outside. These guys are putting on a hell of a show here up front. We got uh, Hunter just running the, running the wall, and it worked. Look at that run. Holy moly. Cash three trucks there on the outside there. Going down the back stretch. Massive run. He has definitely figured that out. Side by side with Chris Carroll, second place. And Brian Zimmerman and Michael Hayes there again. Michael coming back to the field, but falling back. Lost the lead there on the pit stop. Fell back to about sixth. He was back up there in the fourth place. Stuck to make a late stage run here. He got about uh, nine laps at the end of stage number two. When the money's in the line now, you got to get the stage points. Stage points mean so much. Did we make the top four at the end of the season? And, and not. It's, uh, stage points mean a lot. Guys are putting on a really awesome show. Chris Carroll up there to second place. Put some pressure on Wellman. Again, we are uh, side by side here. Fifth place. We got Chris Carroll looking to the outside of Kyle Wellman. They are, they're side by side going down the back stretch. Chris Carroll, big run on the outside. He's gonna send it on the outside there. Kyle Wellman fighting back on the inside. Clips that air, but gets a little loose. Helping the truck turn. Big wiggle by Wellman. Look at that save. That's, uh, I think he might need a change of shorts after that. That was a uh, good save there by Kyle Wellman. That was awesome to see. I did uh, allow uh, Chris Carroll to check out. That good run. Oh, one loose. Ronnie there loose on the inside. Save it. I think. He, oh, that is a yellow. Oh, no. All we seen was Ronnie Morrison there. All over the place on the backstretch. Uh, let's uh, let these guys uh, figure it out here. Let's uh let's take a look, see if we can go back and uh see what happened, shall we? Oh, he just got super loose. Saving it, saving it, saving it. He had it saved. What Oh, almost clipped Larry. Oh, he didn't save it, hit that inside barrier. Oh man. Tough break there for Ronnie. He was doing pretty well. Like uh just got loose, just couldn't save it. Oh, man. Tough break there as we come back here to the front of the field. Kyle Wellman pitting. No, no, they're faking it. Let's say I'm sure they're going to do have some takers. Looks like from six on back has come down pit road. Makes sense, right? You know, you got a stage break coming in. You're going to have a three-lap shootout, right? Get them four fresh fuel goods and fuel. And then... Uh, you know, stay out, get that uh, clean air, right? The rest of the guys, they're going for them stage points. All right, got Brody. He's got his lap back. That should put him back on the lead lap, I believe. No, it's still showing him one lap down. I don't know. Don't know how he went another lap down. Um, I wasn't really watching that. That's a little odd, but hey. Uh, Ronnie did get his truck fixed, it looked like. End of 60, so 61. All right. The driver's here behind the pace truck. I don't know where Wellman's going. Maybe he's bored? I don't know. He's trying to wave at some fans. I mean, he's got some fans down there in the infield camping. Trying to wait to him. Uh, you know, maybe they're. I mean, maybe a fan was trying to throw him a beer. I think they were that trying to throw him a beer. Yeah. But, uh, I didn't see anything flying, so I'm assuming not. Chris Gale's playing with the pace truck driver. He's trying to move that uh, Chevy Silverado out of the way, but it ain't gonna, ain't gonna make pace. You know, pace and go any faster trying to push the pace truck. Fortunately, we can't push the pace truck at iRacing. It is see-through. Not see-through, drive-through. Just drive through it. So, yeah. 
Fun fact, it's a Chevy outside with a Dodge interior on the pace truck. I guess that looks curious. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how that goes. All right, so getting ready to come to uh, two to green here, I believe. you got Chris Carroll, Kyle Wellman, Hunter Laguna is the top three, Brian Laguna fourth, Michael Hayes fifth, Alex Harris sixth, Donnie Honeycutt seventh, Dwayne Honeycutt ninth, Mark Miller, er, Mark Miller ninth, Ronald Judd up there in tenth place after the pit stops. Tyler Honeycutt's still back there in 12th. He's just, he's really been struggling. Like, it's not like him. I'm used to seeing him up there battling for the lead, battling for, you know, stage wins. So I'm not sure what's going on with uh, Tyler. We'll, uh, we'll have to, uh, we'll, try, we'll try to grab him then for an interview if uh, we get a chance here. We should be getting ready to go to one to go if it is two to go i will i'm, I'm going to grab someone and bring them up but i'm not 100 percent sure i'm going to find out here in a second if we are coming to one to go or two to go but on all these drives i'm putting on a great show it's the first accident caution of the night as they are wanting to go, we are going to let these guys double file up here. All right, so we're going to have a three lap, two lap shootout here to the end of uh, stage number two. What do you think? You all think they're going to make it back? Place your bets. Type it there in chat. Let me know. I don't know what you all think. Are they going to make it back to the finish line for the end of stage two? I think so. I'm, I'm, you know, hoping so, right? We don't want more tore up race trucks than we need, right? But uh, who's your pick? Chris Carroll, Kyle Wellman. We got Michael Hayes back there, winner of stage number one there in fifth place. I don't know. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a fun battle here for two laps to see who gets that uh, stage win. I'm not I'm not putting my money any anyone because you know that whole broadcast was cursed thing. In case anyone's curious, yeah, it's a real it's a real thing. So I'm not I'm not uh, I don't want to give anyone that curse. So. All right, well, let's jump to the uh, front here of uh, old Chris Carroll, right? And uh, let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Pace truck, pace truck, they're ready to pull off. Chris Carroll going to lead them down to the green flag here. Don't spin the tires, they are going to be hot. Oh, good jump there by Chris Carroll. Looked like Wellman spun the tires there just a brief second. It's going to allow Chris Carroll there to get a nice jump there. Kyle Wellman there looking on the inside. Hunter Laguna is on the inside as well. Got uh, Michael Hayes. Looked like he's trying to make some headway. He is. He's got a big run down that down the inside that Alex Harris gone with. That's going to Michael Hayes there trying to get that third spot. Gonna have two laps to go in this stage. Can uh, Kyle Wellman or Michael Hayes have anything for Chris Carroll? That's my question. Mike, yeah, he is on a mission. Kyle Wellman's gonna run him tight. He thought about chopping his nose off, but did not. He's pushing up a racetrack. Kyle's gonna run him hard. A little, little beating and banging, door banging here for the end of stage number two. But again, gonna run him hard. Keep it clean, boys. Gonna slow him down, so they are not gonna be able to pressure and catch Chris Carroll from slowing each other down like that. But it's gonna be a good battle there to the end of uh, one more lap to go here in stage number two. That is for sure. And a good battle back there again with Alex and Hunter and Donnie. Good battling here going on. Who's it gonna be? It is gonna be. Michael or Kyle Wellman here for stage number two, for second place. Looks like it's, oh, it's gonna be Michael. Edged him out there. So that's the end of stage number two. So again, these drivers are putting on a really good show tonight. Uh, awesome to see. Uh, yeah, putting on a hell of a show, I gotta say. I'm definitely enjoying it tonight. 
Uh, Chris Carroll and Michael Hayes, once pit stops are done, I'm going to pull you both out there quick. All right, so we are going to, once these drivers are done doing pit stops, we're going to grab uh, Michael, who won stage one. We're going to grab Chris Carroll, who just won stage number two. Get their thoughts on how the truck's going. And uh, if we have time, we'll try to grab someone else. Probably going to grab uh, grab one of the honey cuts. We haven't talked to them in just been a minute. Right? See how their race is going. Just don't mind me. I'm going to take a quick drink here as these drivers are going to get ready here for pit stops. Again, that was awesome battling there for the end of stage number one. Or stage number two. All right, here they come. Got most of the field going to be coming down pit road. Assuming some drivers are going to stay out. They did pit when that caution came out. Use the boards, don't spin each other down pit road now. So, yeah, we do have one driver staying out. Only one driver? Only one driver stayed out. We'll have to look to see who that is. Looks like that was, oh, Ronnie Morrison and Nick Lamb stayed out. Chris Carroll in a lightning quick pit stop. That's your move. That's gonna put him first of the trucks off pit road, I believe. All right, well, what do you say? Let's go uh, find Michael Hayes. And uh, let's go give him a shout out real quick. Michael Hayes is Tom up here in the broadcast booth. You got a copy. Hey, good, brother. How you doing there? One stage number one. Truck looked pretty good out there in that clean air. And, uh, uh, you know, like you got back there in the dirty air a little bit, kind of, you know, affecting the truck, I'm assuming. But give us a little rundown quick how the race will be going. I'm going to wish you the best of luck here in the final stage. And uh, you looked real fast there at practice and in that first stage. So uh, hopefully see you up there at the front at the end. Not a problem. All right, let's go grab Chris Carroll. Chris Carroll, it's Tom up here in the booth, winner of stage number two. Do you got a copy? Oh, yes. Uh, 10, 4, let me, quick, I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, hopefully we can try that again. Chris Carroll, you got a copy. Yeah, I got you. Hey, now you're bouncing. Look at that. Helps if I turn that little, you know, bar up, right? <laughs> you know, I'm a rookie at this. I apologize, y'all. All right, winner stage number two. I mean, you drove from the back to the front. Now you, you know, got a couple trucks there in front of you. How's, uh, how's your race been going so far? So uh, I gotta ask, did you mess up qualifying, have an issue, or did you purposely qualify in the back? Yeah, I didn't qualify. Okay. I okay. decided to start in the back. Okay. You know, have some fun out here with these boys. Mm -hmm. like them in the back. Okay. Uh, and that's what I figured, knowing you doing what you do. Well, you all one lap to go here. Looks like you're starting second here in the restart. You all put on a good show here for stage number three, and we'll see you at the end, brother. 10-4, we're doing a hell of a job so far. All right, that was Michael Hayes, winner of stage number one, and Chris Carroll, winner of stage number two. These drivers are lined up side by side, two by two, all the way through the field. As uh, we're getting ready to start stage number three, 55 laps here. Actually, less than that. Yeah, 55 laps, I can math. 
you know, I'm good at this, right? No, no, I'm not. Anyways, um, look, so, uh, again, if anyone just tuning in, real quick, apologize for the Bare Bones broadcast and the overlays and high racing in the background. I'm doing race control and broadcasting. You know, I'm, uh, last minute deal. Our other broadcast had some issues with sound, so I said, hey, I'll jump in. I'll figure it out. It's, you know, only been a year or so since I've done this, but hey, we're making it work. All right. Here we go. That pace truck is getting ready to pull off. See if Ronnie can get a good jump. Seem like that inside line is where you want to be on the restart. Good, ooh, ooh, good jump there by Ronnie. Definitely cleared there. Chris Carroll. Kyle Wellman there, still the inside of Chris Carroll. Ronnie shot the nose off there. Wellman, that was. That could have been bad. Wellman's going to send it in there three wide. He is. Ronnie tried to block, did not block. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. They're going to beat the bang. What a good show, though. They didn't wreck. They kept it going. Ronnie went from first to third, possibly fourth here in one lap. Got side by side here for the lead. Kyle well, Chris Carroll. Good. We got Ronnie there fighting back on the inside, trying to get second place back. That outside line is going to have that massive run. Still think the outside line is where you want to be. Hunter sending three wide down the back stretch. Still three wide. Ronnie tight on his door. Ooh, yeah, there we go. All right. Good job there, boys. A little door bang on the tri oval. It's like to see. I mean, the trucks, right? They're tough. If you don't door bang in trucks, I don't know. What's the point of driving a truck, right? Anyways. That Hunter there getting a little loose on the inside is Ronnie now on the outside. They're still fighting. Ronnie's trying. He's trying to make that outside line work. You got Michael looks like looking on the inside there. Alex, he is. Alex going to give him some room here. A little bit of room. There, yep. Give him some room there coming off of four. Ronnie clears Alex. Michael is trying to get back there to the front. We know he's got a fast truck. He's, he's doing his best. He is wheeling it. Looks like he's going to try to get another one here down. He is. Back to the inside of Hunter Lagunas. Here we are. Coming off turn number four. Completing lap 69. Coming to lap 70. Trying 46 laps to go tonight in this final race. They are going to have to make a pit stop if my fuel calculations are correct. Don't hold me, but I'm 99% sure they have to stop the fuel. Wreck, wreck, backstretch. Like Carl and Donnie. Oh, man. All right, well. Let's, uh, Get there, Chris. let's take a look and see what happened. Carl there on the outside. Oh, he just got loose. Oh, he's got loose there and collected Donnie. And Carl didn't hold his brakes and then collected Ron. Um, yeah, well, that's a shame. Um, as far as that goes. Let's uh, go back and watch it one more time here. Uh, if I can just if I can just find the right buttons, you remember where all the buttons are and all this stuff, it'd probably be okay. You'd probably all be enjoying it, but you know. There we go, you can see. Oh yeah, it just gets loose. Oh, Donnie's there. Yeah. And might have held his brakes, but Ron just said, ah, I'm just gonna send it, right? Uh good old Ron. Alright, well. Those drivers are definitely going to be going to backup trucks. So, I'm, I'm assuming the tempo is probably getting ready to heat up here, if I'm being honest, uh, as far as that goes. So, things are about to heat up. When we take the green flag, we're going to have 41 laps to go here, right? So, uh, real quick, why these guys are under caution here? I'm, uh, I'm going to go grab... Uh, 
Let me grab Tyler Honeycutt, and we'll see if we can talk to someone else. Tyler Honeycutt, that's Tom up here in the booth. You got a copy? Hey, man. So, uh, noticed you qualified kind of towards the back, and, he, uh, you know, just kind of running towards the back. Everything okay with the truck, or just, you know, how's your, doesn't look like your night's going the way I expect you to run, put it that way. Okay. 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 Oh. Okay. I I gotta say I I do I kind of like that. I'm not gonna lie. I think that. Uh, I do. Well, I wish you the best in that strategy call, and hopefully uh, we get to see you back up there in, in the front here in a, you know, 10, 15 laps, and uh, we uh, see you up there in the front at the end of the race. Uh, yeah, good luck. Alright, as we are one to go right now here for these drivers. Getting ready to get double file again. Alright, the pace truck's gonna be pulling off here in just a few moments. Yeah, we got Kyle Wellman, Chris Carroll, Ronnie Morrison, Hunter Lagunas, and uh Alex Harris here with the top five. We're getting ready to go green again here in stage number three. We're going to have about 42 laps to go when we go green. The pace truck is off. Green flag. There they go. Good jump there by Kyle Wellman. Chris Carroll sleeping. Not used to seeing that on Chris Carroll. Side by side here going into turn number one. Top three half broken away. Alex there on the inside. Ronnie just went way up the racetrack. I don't know if he forgot to turn the wheel or, you know, maybe some marbles on the tires to get the wheel off good. So he went kind of straight, possibly. But a uh, good side-by-side -side battle there for it. Oh, uh, is that Ronald? Ronald up there on the wall. Not sure what happened. He's keeping it up there on the wall, though. Good job by Ronald keeping it up there on the wall. Not uh, causing a, a wreck. Much appreciated. Anyways, back up here for third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth ish. Right? Hunter looking down the inside of Ronnie Morrison. Chopped off his teammate there, Alex Harris. Remember, Alex is going to be happy with that. You might remember that later on in the race here. Alex looking the inside. He's, 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 ooh, door banging. Oh, Ronnie there apologizing. Oh, my bad. I see drivers apologize. Uh, I think Ronnie likes that outside line. It's a massive run there down the back stretch. Uh, he's trying, but again, Hunter stayed strong on the inside. As they are side by side, door to door here in the turn. Coming out of four. Both lanes are really even right now. Uh, yeah, Chris Carroll's looking. He's looking at the outside. He is. He's sending it on the outside of Kyle Wellman trying to get that lead, get that clean air. You know, uh, Chris Carroll's not one to kind of sit behind someone. He wants the lead. He's going to do whatever he got to do to get it, right? Ronnie pushing down the back stretch. Oh, he's going to allow Ronnie to go a little high. Let's keep getting under control, though. Side by side here. Again, down the trial. Chris Carroll, Kyle Wellman, Hunter Lugunez, Ronnie Morrison. Alex Harris in the top five. You can put these guys under a cup, not a blanket, a cup. Uh, red Solo. Alex, they're getting a little loose. 
Good save. Didn't lose any momentum. Might have helped him. Might have helped that truck there. Actually. Still looking on the inside there, Ronnie Morrison. Again, Chris Carroll trying that outside there. Oh, well, just can't make it work. Well, has got that inside figured out. So Chris Carroll's going to say, hey, you need to go. I'm going to give you a little push here down the try over. I wonder if Chris Carroll's trying to pass him or if he's trying to just keep that truck in clean air. That's a possibility. Ronnie again on that outside. We should give him a massive run. Now you got Alex there pushing his teammate. Uh, Ronnie, that run from Ronnie gets not to work on the outside, obviously. Uh, well, that's not Alex. That's Devin. Where did Devin come from? Devin Thompson is up there in the fourth place, in the fifth place, battling for fifth place. I don't know where he came from. How much was just there? All right, well, that's my bad for not paying attention. Um, yeah, this guy's just putting on a show. I'm not sure where to call, what to call, where to look. I'm just I'm watching all the programs, trying to find the best battle on the track. And right now, it looks like here it's, it's still these top five. As, as uh, Chris Carroll here is starting to pull away. Kyle Wellman there in second. We've got Ronnie and Alex Harris they're still side by side there in third place. Devin's looking, not quite there enough. Didn't give out the hunter. There, a little bump there going to come there. Got to turn number one. Again, side by side. And ooh, we got Brian Zimmerman and, and Brody Mears again. They're, they're, they're up there as well. Devin Thompson is pitting in. Shows he's pitting in. He is not pitting in. Oh, he Sorry, is bro. pitting in. I guess they checked up front of him. Why was he, he stayed out, he did not hit. So he needs fuel. Ah, okay, well, could this be a strategy? I, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. Hmm. Let's see how that works out for him. Uh, top four are now single file. Got Alex and uh, Brody there on the outside, side by side. Brody's gonna clear him. Ah, looks like our top six is now single file. Wellman's chasing down Chris Carroll. And you got uh, Ronnie Morrison there. Not even the top three right now. Um, times are real close between all three of them. Um, in case you're all wondering, the, uh, if you're looking at the timing and scoring, again, the uh, first time there, the 29.987, that is their fastest lap race. And then the 30.376 and leave it the last one. Again, Brody Mears and Hunter side by side again. Again, these drivers are gonna have to pit. They are gonna have to come down for fuel and tires at some point. Um, right now they should be in the fuel window to make it, I would imagine. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure you're going to see pit stops probably within the next 10 laps here. I would imagine this guy was still here. My guess, that is what I'm assuming here. Again, everyone here now pretty single file here. He's got some cars, trucks coming out of pit road. All right, real quick here, while these guys are kind of single file, let's say we do a little quick, uh, let's do a little quick run through the field, huh? I think that's a good idea. Let's do it. All right, and now we got Chris Kale here leading the way, winner of stage number two. He has gained 15 spots at the start of this race. Right, that's 15 spots. Okay. Got uh, Kyle Wellman there running in second place. He started in second, uh, finished second in most stages. So he's looking, going to be looking for that win. Got Brody Mayers there running third, up seven spots at the start of this race. Got a really good run tonight. Happy to see him doing well tonight in the trucks. Ronnie Morrison up there in the fourth place. He's gained four spots to start this race. Down the other side of uh, Brody Mears. Hunter Lagunas running fifth. He has lost one spot from the start. We've got, uh, we've got Alex Harris there battling there. Trying to get to his outside. Alex currently running sixth. He's lost three spots to start this race. We've got uh, a little further back there running in seventh right now. Battling seventh. We've got Mark Miller. Came uh, two spots right now. So started the race time running in seventh. Had a good strong run tonight. Yeah, Ryan's been been there on his outside, running eighth. But now Ryan's been running seventh. You got Nick Lamb. These guys are 
these guys are battling hard. And you got Michael Hayes back there as well. Zimmy up there in the wall. Kind of got in the wall a little bit. Look at his truck here. Great, but these trucks are pretty tough. It should be too, too bad. Yeah, we got side by side with Mark Miller there and Dick Lamb. We got Michael Hayes back there, back in the back. I don't know if something happened. He was running up there in the front. Uh, again, we got Tyler Honeycutt back there running in the ninth. No. 11th. did say he just took his first set of tires a little bit ago. So, interesting strategy. You can see how that plays out there. It works out for me. It's a uh, best of luck on that. Another car on pit road. Brody Mears coming down pit road. And then we got Mark Miller. And uh, Mark Miller, Nick Lamb, Brian Zimmerman, Michael Hayes. There's your battle for 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. Let's go. Uh, let's take a quick gander at the leaders. See how they're going. I believe uh, Chris Carroll and Kyle Wellman have said bye. They're in a different time zone right now, so I'm going to let them do their thing. Meanwhile, back here in third place, put a cup under them. Got uh, Hunt Lagunes and Ronnie Morrison and Alex Harris there battling for third and fourth. Got Hunter there, Alex there on the inside, I'm sorry. Of Ronnie Morrison battling there down the back stretch. Hunter's loving this. He wants to see these drivers uh, run side by side, so maybe he can pull away. And uh, maybe try to run down Todd Wellman and Chris Carroll. Maybe he has some strategy we don't know about. I, I The other thing, strategies, right? we got 24 laps to go in this race, come to 23 to go. I foresee drive some drivers taking two tires um you know if you're farther back in the pack i mean what do you got to lose right you know take two tires quicker pit stop try to gain some track position can make the truck a little looser uh, i mean i would you know if i was say fifth sixth seventh and on back i'd take two tires you know get that try to get that track position and you know hope they're you know maybe top four or five take four tires just a little food for thought. That's just my opinion there as far as that goes. Alex finally gets by Ronnie. And Ronnie going to say, hey, I chop my nose off. I'm going to give a little push here. He does. Alex there kind of right in the middle. Ronnie was looking, thinking about, ooh, a little wiggle there by both drivers coming out of turn number four. Going to be interesting to see when the rest of the field starts to pit. Mark Miller is currently down on pit road. Pitted from 13th place. They're down on pit road. Hey, Brian. I'm going to be pitting right here. Uh, you, you just heard that, hey, Ronnie. Pitting in, pitting in. Pitting Ronnie, in. Hunter are pitting in this time. Let's keep it on them. Thank you, Ronnie. Oh, Alex. Oh, wow. Alex, great job getting on pit road. He said bye-bye. I'll see you all later. Um, that's going to give him a massive advantage here getting on pit road. Uh, I believe Chris Carroll came down pit road as well. Did I? No. Yes, he did. Okay. Got to say, uh, where did Chris Carroll go? Kyle oh, Wellman out there by himself. I'm assuming he's going to pit here shortly. Um, the lap times have fallen off a good, you know, second and a half. The longer he stays out on the mold tires, the farther back he's going to be behind, unless he's planning on taking two tires to try to make that time up, try to stay out for a caution. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what he does here as far as that goes. So Kyle Wellman, Brian Zimmerman, Nick Lamb, Michael Hayes, Donnie Honeycutt, Dwayne Honeycutt have not pit yet. As far as that. So... Currently, Kyle oh, Wellman there out in their lead. Got Brian hasn't been there in second. Uh, Nick Lamb, or no, Chris Carroll is a lot down, so I'm sorry. Uh, and look at the difference right now, real quick. You see this difference? Brian hasn't been in old tires. Chris Carroll on new tires right here, right? He is checking out. Okay? That's a difference on new tires compared to old tires. So, 
to say a buck. Kyle Wellman, I'd be pitting now. Let's see what happens here. Anyway, she got Brian Zimmerman there in second yeah, on fresh tires. Probably should have went under you. Give you a little Johnson more. Just like got uh, Michael Hayes there in third. Nick Lamb up there in fourth. So, um, yeah, just to see how this plays out. I'm just I'm really surprised that Kyle Wellman is still out there, to be honest. But, uh, Chris Carroll is in fifth place. So, currently, there's only four trucks right now on the same lap. So, the rest of the field is one lap down. So, the top four have not pit. Kyle Wellman, Brian Zimmerman, Michael Hayes, Nick Lamb have not pit. So, when this cycles around with Chris Carroll on them fresh tires, it's, look, Chris Carroll is running down Kyle Wellman right now. This is going to come back and bite them, I think, in the butt. I'm just saying. Uh, it's my opinion. As uh, I think uh, Chris Carroll's most likely going to come out here with the lead after pit stops are complete and have a nice lead, a nice, comfortable lead. But, uh, we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens. See, we got uh, ooh, battle here for third and fourth. Uh, Nick, Nick Lamb on the inside there of Michael Hayes. And these guys are on all the tires. We got Devin, who is on fresh er, -er tires. Not fresh, but fresh er. -er. er, -er. Is that a word? Er. -er. I think that's a word. Anyways, um, fresh er tires. He pitted about 13 laps ago. So, again, still fresher tires. You can see the difference. Even his tires are, you know. Not as new as, say, Chris Carroll or, or some of the other guys, but he's making it work. He's going to look three wide, maybe try to get by. Kyle Wellman is now on pit road, coming down the pits. I don't think that's going to work out well for him. I think he's going to need to hope for a caution, unless he's taking two tires. Three wide here going to turn number one, coming on turn number two. Here they go, down the back stretch, still three wide. Pitting you. All right, you got Brian Zimmerman there saying pitting. he's pitting in. Spin, spin. Cause, cause. There is a yellow there, who, who spun. Kyle Wellman? No. Brody, Brody Mears. SDK is showing me Brody Mears. Well, that's just going to uh, change everything up. Huh. Well, that's always fun. In the middle of pit pits cycles, pit strategies. It's going to be good for Kyle Wellman. Um, not good for some of the others. It's going to trap some good trucks a lap down. Does anybody know where that wreck but, was? Uh, we will see what happens here. Uh, let's take a look at Brody Mears. Let's see what happened to him here. Goes down. Oh, he just looped it. Just looped it. Uh, Brody Mears just uh, all right well he tried to save it give him credit he tried but uh, not uh, not enough wasn't able to save it so now who is going to pit so we got Brian Zimmer, Michael Hayes Nick Lamb on pit road that's probably going to be it Chris Carroll's also down on the pits. He wants to get on the same cycle as these boys. That makes sense. But if Chris Carroll would have stayed out, he would have still... He would have got that... No, so Chris... That's what I forgot. Chris Carroll is on the same lap as the leader, so he wants to get on the same strategy as them. So Devin Thomas, Alex... So right now, Devin, Alex, Tyler, Hunter, Ronnie, Larry Bell, Donnie, Dwayne, Carl, and Brody are all currently one lap down. Um, let's check to see if they possibly stayed out. They did. So, so we got so Alex, Tyler, Ron, Hunter. They're going to be staying out here to get a wave. No. Hunter is not going to be getting away because Ron is multiple laps down and staying out 
Uh-oh. I don't think... Hell, he should. He should still get a wave. So, all the drivers that are currently one lap down should be getting a wave as they are behind the front of Kyle Wellman. I apologize. So let's see here. They should be getting a wave. No, no, we're still two to go. All right. So let's see if these boys here get a wave. Real quick, I'm going to go grab a driver here. Hey, uh, Mark Mellers, Tom up here in the booth. You got a copy? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Hey, uh, little, little got to say I'm a little disappointed. I know you had a good truck tonight. Uh, you were up front, and now you kind of <laughs> tore to the back, two laps down. Uh Everything okay with I, that that four? I tried to do some new things tonight with my clutch. And, um, yeah, we had a money shift on one. And then oh. we had a, a clutch uh, wrong in the, in the uh, going into the pits. And then, and then of mm. course, yeah, I forgot to put my tires on like I wanted. So, yeah. You know, I believe you told me multiple times, right? Never change, change anything before the start of a race, right? Just yeah, saying. All right. I did. I did. Yeah, I was. I was doing everything I wanted to tonight, and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden, you know what happened? Well, I changed. Something. Are you in front of Kyle Wellman? You are. So, you are going to be. You are going to be getting a lap back. So that's going to put you only one lap down. So you should be lucky, dog, if a caution comes out quick. Right. Yeah, and uh, just so all the st fans know, I will be filing a protest. Filing a protest against who? You'll find out after the race. You'll find out after the race. Oh, uh, what, what did I miss? You didn't miss anything. You'll go back out to the race. And you, you'll check it all out. Uh, okay. All right. Well, let you get <laughs> caught up here and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully get a quick caution, get that lap back, and uh, yes, make a charge sir. to the front, brother. Yes, sir. All right. Well, good luck, Chummy. Thank you, sir. All right. So, again, those drivers are getting a wave around. So let's go back here to Kyle Wellen. We get ready to kick this thing off. We're going to have nine laps to go when this thing kicks off. I believe it is about to get wild and crazy. Where are the field? Truck's gone. Everyone left. No, don't worry about it. Half the field's getting away from it. They'll be coming here in a second. See? Coming around you a little fancy track map. Not fancy, but it's a track map. Y'all can see where the cars are at. Me too. Um, yeah. Nine laps to go here in tonight's Come on, honey. We got front row esports truck series race here. number seven here in Texas. Oh, we are. I'll just take my tires. All right. Kyle Wellman. Michael Hayes is going to lead him down here. Nine laps to go. You know, these are both fast trucks. Let's see what happens here on the start. Free flag. Ah, one with another great start there on the uh, inside line. I really think that inside line is the place you want to be there on the start of the race. Uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, Chris Carroll, Brian Zimmerman there and up to... Second, third, Michael got trapped there on that outside. They were able to get a uh, single foul out. Brody looking down on the inside. Devin looks like he's going to go with him. It's going to shuffle Michael here possibly back a few more spots. He's going to fight back hard on the outside. He is. And Brian Zimmerman looking for that lead. Which way is Chris Kale going to go? His teammate. They're both his teammates. Who do you push? Oh, I don't know. Maybe favoritism? Do you have one you like? than the other? I don't know. Anyways. Oh, Kyle left that door open there. He did. Grinds him in there to the outside. Chris Carroll to the inside. Looks like he might try to push Wellman here down the tri-oval. He is. He's going to push him. He is pushing. He is pushing hard. Gonna try to sneak to the outside. No, I see. I thought he was going to try to snake there in the middle. Go to the outside. But I was wrong. Brian Zimmerman just sends it. Says, I'm just going to hold it wide open. Hope it sticks. A little squiggly. I mean, it, it kind of worked. Not going to lie, right? Kyle Wellman blocking there. I don't know how much uh, Chris Carroll is going to take to that blocking. 
Might uh, might find uh, the front end in Wellman's tailgate if he does that again. But uh, top five, you can put that back under that red solo cup. Uh, I like red solo cup. Chris Carroll looking down on the inside. Ooh, Brian Zimmerman got real loose all the way up to that Kyle Wellman line. Saved it, though. That uh, cost some spots, though. Brody Mears fell back, and uh, Michael Hayes there had a lift. So instead of five trucks for the lead, we only got two trucks for the lead right now. But uh, I'm sure these guys are going to catch back. But that pushed Brody back there to sixth. That was, that was rough. Yeah, Chris Kale battling here. He's looking. He is trying. No, I know dirty air it makes it tough to pass, but if anyone can figure out how to pass in dirty air, I'm gonna be honest, it's gonna be Chris Carroll. Right? He's looking, he's looking to the outside here. That's uh, let's see if we can find a good. Uh, oh, I'm just trying to find a certain camera view, and I can't find it here. Nose here of uh, Kyle Welkin. There we go. Looking underneath this truck here. He's looking on his bumper. Down to the inside. Holding wide open. This driver's far wide open. He's looking. He is fighting. Lifting much there in turn one either. But Wellman there getting a little loose. That gyro here. He only got three laps to go, so we are going to kill that. I don't need that anymore. I'm going to watch this battle here. First Carol, you saw it have that wheel. Fighting that truck there in that dirty air. Really fighting this right there, that dirty hit. Good battle though, looking down to the outside. These two are running hard and checking out. So it looks like it's gonna be these two battling for the win. We are coming to one to go in tonight's race. Who's it gonna be? Kyle Wellman, Chris Carroll? I don't know. I'm liking that outside line though, I'm not gonna lie. Side by side, we're gonna turn one, Kyle Wellman on the inside. Chris Carroll can try to make that run. Kyle Wellman's pushing up a little bit. Going to try to maybe push him up the track. Oh, a little door banging. Oh, Chris Carroll in the wall. Oh, that gave some damage to Michael. I'll have to go back and watch that. Oh, oh, Chris Carroll's looping it, looping it, looping it. Oh, that just clicked Brody. Holy moly. Got Kyle Wellman, Devin. Brian Zimmerman going to be our top three tonight in the race. We're going to have to go back and watch that <clears throat> for sure. For sure. Wow, that was, uh, whew, what a last lap, huh? Uh, good win there, Mr. Wellman. Uh, Top three of the start finish line. Wellman, enjoy your burnouts. Top three you also will be coming up to the booth then here in a minute. Kyle Wellman here's gonna burn it down. We are gonna go back and watch that last lap then. I'm uh, kind of curious to see what happened. For the, uh, last lap of that race here. Alright, so while, so while Kyle Wellman is finishing his burnouts here, let's give a quick rundown of our top ten. Got uh, Kyle Wellman first. Devin, second truck series start. Good job there, P2. Rising in P3. Uh, Nick Lamb fourth. Michael Hayes fifth. Alex Harris sixth. Chris Carroll finishing ninth at the battle in there for the lead on the final lap, finishing ninth. Seventh, I'm sorry. Hunter Laguna's eighth, Larry Bell ninth, Donnie Honeycutt tenth, Tyler Honeycutt eleventh, uh, Ronnie Morrison twelfth, Dwayne Honeycutt thirteenth, Carl Matz fourteenth, Brody Mears fifteenth, Mark Brillis sixteenth, Ronald Judd seventeenth, Michael Rivas eighteenth, and 
Tannemar riding up the field there in 19th position. Uh, so we got Wellman here finishing up with burnouts. Let's grab third place from Brian Zimmerman. See if we can give a quick chat to him. Mr. Zimmerman. It is Tom up here in the booth. Do you have a copy? How you doing, brother? Bringing home P3 tonight? We'll take it when you can when you can get it. I hate that Carol had issues there on that last lap. I mean, I'm going to race it hard. Yeah. I haven't watched it yet. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's been a good finish because they've all been racing clean all night. Yep, they were. I know Wellman's going to apologize. Uh-oh, okay. I know, yeah, because I did see, you know, we were on him watching it, you know, on the final lap here. And it looked like, you know, Chris was on uh, Wellman's uh, tailgate pretty tight, right? And looked like uh, Wellman just sent him in there a little much, kind of went up the racetrack, and they kind of got into each other. But, I mean, it's the last lap. You're going to send it in there wide open, you know? I mean, it's Yeah, he knows. Exactly. It's frustrating. It's like all those things. Got into him a little bit, caused him to lose some spots. So I'm glad he was able to recover and get a second place out of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's uh, you know second second start in the league. So happy to see him there, battling for for a top three for sure. Yes, yes. Yep. Well, so uh, you know tomorrow's Friday night in the cups. You running? You running Texas tomorrow? Or? I, I, if I'm available, I will. Yeah. But I okay. think we got some stuff going on with the girls right. tomorrow night, so I'll Fair probably enough. be out. But uh, Fair enough. if I'm available, I may jump in here. It'll, be, it'll probably be a race time decision. All right. Well, hopefully, uh, if we don't see you tomorrow, awesome job tonight. And uh, if we do see you tomorrow, I'll uh, see you out there on track tomorrow. But uh, good to good we appreciate all you do up in the booth, booth man. Oh. Thanks for jumping up there and broadcasting. It for I us. appreciate it. You know, sorry it's bare bones, but you know. Hey. We're good. It's man. better than we nothing, appreciate right? All you do for the league and the, all all you put up with for the league, we appreciate uh, it. I appreciate it. Unnoticed. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, Zimmy. Good job there on a P three tonight, and uh, we'll we'll catch you later. Sounds great. Shout out to Andrew, my brother in law. He's always watching, and uh, Jonathan, his brother. They're always keeping up with us on this broadcast. So nice. Uh, shout out to them, and uh, just appreciate you, Tom. Thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, you're welcome. All right, we're going to grab Devin Johnson there, P2 tonight. Uh, Devin, you got a copy? I do, I'm here. Hey, brother, man. You know, P2 tonight? Uh, I mean, what's your, it's your second start, right, in the truck series? Or third? Second? Uh, second start. Second yeah. start? I mean, you were strong last week, too. But, uh, I mean, P2, I mean, tell us about your race. That's an awesome job there for P2. Yeah, last week we had a good week. Uh, I think Wellman just kind of got into us late, but mm -hmm. it's good to bounce back week two in here. Um, strategy kind of worked out. It was a little different than what I was planning on. I was hoping to save a set just in case if Akasha came out and mm -hmm. hopefully power my way up to the front. Um, the little spin kind of caused it earlier than I was expecting, and then yep. I thought I was kind of screwed with that caution, but it all worked out, and I didn't think I had winning speed or probably top five speed at most, maybe top ten, but... Okay. Uh, strategy worked out, so I'm happy. It did. I mean, you can't uh, you can't complain when things just kind of you know work out there with a couple laps to go, and you get a top top three. You know what I mean? Just how yeah, the cook, I think, you know. I think we could have probably had a chance at the first spot there, the 99, when they got in with it with Wellman there, mm -hmm. kind of just blocked the lane. I had nowhere to go and had to check up, but yeah. Luckily, the seas parted and we came home with P2. Yeah, well, I gotta say, you know, awesome job on P2. It's uh. You know, good to see it. Good to see you running strong, and glad to see a P two for you. It's gonna, uh, you know, you came in late to the points, but you know, it's gonna give you a really good boost tonight in the points, and should uh, should get you up there, get get you up up there a little ways, and uh, you know, yeah. and and whatnot. Um, and you are you're running cup tomorrow, right? 
I am not. You're I'm not. not. Okay. Yet. That's right. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, when uh, you're ready to join Cup, I think uh, you're gonna do pretty good after the showing you showing you put on tonight. So. Well, appreciate it, and thanks for uh, yeah. broadcasting and dealing with us. And, well, you're uh, welcome. Me into the league. Yeah, you're glad glad you're here, and and honestly, there wasn't uh, you all did a great job out there tonight as far as racing and being polite. It uh, made it easy tonight being I was doing double duty, so I appreciate you all for that. <laughs> yeah, and I, I want to so. give a quick shout out to everyone in the league. They've best league I've been a part of. Not too many wrecks or craziness mm-hmm. going on. It's really respectful out here, and really do appreciate that and running with these guys. Yeah, and I uh, and. And I'm sure they all appreciate that, and uh, I can't wait uh, can't wait to see what you do as the uh, season goes on. Yeah, thanks for having me. So, oh, you're welcome. All right, and the winner of tonight, if I can find his truck, there it is, Kyle Wellman, and the Coors Light uh, Eight, number forty two Coors Banquet. Coors, <laughs> Coors Banquet. Coors Light. Look, Coors Light's on my mind. I'm sorry. Anyways. <laughs> P, P, I almost said P2 tonight. I apologize. I'm, it I it am, should have been P2. I, what, so what, so run us through what happened. We didn't go back and look at it yet. I was just, um, all night whenever someone got to my right rear in turn one and two, it just pushed my truck up really bad. Okay. Okay. And, and Chris knew that cause we'd been in the situation a couple times before that. Yep. Yep. And he did it again. I started pushing up. I burped it a little bit. And it just wouldn't get to turn. And, you know, it's the last lap. So I can't. You're not, yeah, you're not going to lift out of it that completely. much, right? Yeah, correct. I and I, I, I just straight up, the truck just drove up into him. And I got him unstable, got him into the wall. And mm. I feel pretty bad for it. Sorry to Chris. I, yeah. I would have rather been hitting doors at the line. But just, yeah, for some reason, I could not get the truck to turn when someone was on my right rear. Okay. Okay. Well, and unfortunately it is, you know, how it goes. I mean, you know, these trucks are real ever since the last update, you know, what, three, four weeks ago, these trucks have become whole different animals. It ain't wide open anymore. It ain't, they're not the most stable things on the planet, right? You got to wheel them, you know, they they drive how they're supposed to drive. Yeah. Which makes it fun. I mean, I haven't driven them much since the update, but uh, it makes it, makes you all put on a good show. That's for sure. So, oh yeah. Yep. They're a handful to drive, but they're fun. I honestly think right now it's my favorite vehicle in iRacing. So. Last week, the next-gen car is your favorite. Yeah, but these trucks, I don't know. Like, you, you just got to drive the crap out of both of them. All right, fair enough. It. Fair enough. That, I mean, that makes sense. It does. It makes sense. The, these at least stop when you hit the brakes, though. Yeah, well, well, yes, you're, you're not wrong about that. <laughs> Uh, the next gen cars are never going to stop, but that's a whole different story for well tomorrow night. But uh, good job there on a uh, you know bringing home the P1 though. I'm sure uh, um, you know, hopefully you and uh, Mr. Chris Carroll get things sorted out and uh, for tomorrow if he's going to be here. I don't know if he's racing tomorrow or not, but uh, if he is, you know hopefully I'll get that figured out. Um, before we uh, let you go here tonight, anyone you want to give a quick shout out to before we let you go. I uh, just got to thank Tripods in the Wild, uh, Five Kings Motorsports teammates. Uh, okay. Had a pretty decent run tonight. Mm-hmm. It looks like we have four of us in the top ten. Yep. Oh, five of us five in the of, top ten. Every, so we'll take that. Yeah, everyone was in the top ten for Five we'll Kings. We'll take that. I think we we're all just battling there for the lead there at the end. Me, Brian, mm-hmm. uh, Chris, Alex was up there. Yep. Uh, it's a good battle. I'm glad we could keep it clean there at the end and not get a late race caution because that would have been bad. That I agree. I agree. But, 100%. And then sorry again to Chris. Uh, we'll talk about it. I'm sure we'll be all right going into next week. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, tomorrow night, big show. Cup cars here. It is. So, it is. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, cup cars are pretty much one groove around here. So yeah. We'll see how that works out. And I haven't done, normally I have a couple A opens in by this time of the week and I have none. So. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. <laughs> you got time tonight? I, I might I might get one in tonight. Honestly, but we'll see how that goes. So, and again, good job there on a uh, on P one. You know, uh, wish you the best of luck tomorrow night, and hopefully, uh, you have another good show in tomorrow night in the Cup cars. Let's hope so. We got to gain some points for the Cup series. So uh, we're uh, yes. flirting with the cutoff line already. Yeah, I'm in the. I'm in the same situation, so I'm hoping for a good show in tomorrow night. So, but but we got Dega next week, so I'm excited for that. Yes, Dega will be a lot of fun for sure. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, brother. Well, good job there on P1. We'll let you go so you can enjoy the rest of your Thursday evening, and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow night. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for uh, putting on the broadcast for us tonight. Uh, you're welcome. Sorry it's bare bones, but hey. It's, hey, it's, it's something. It's, it's better than nothing, right? Hey, you showed up. You did your job. You're good. I appreciate it. All right, brother. You have a good night, and we'll we'll catch you tomorrow. Yep, you too. All right. All right, y'all. That was Kyle Wellman there, winner of tonight's race. Um, these guys put on an awesome show tonight. Uh, I, yeah, I was at a point. I mean, I don't know. I'm speechless. Awesome job tonight by these drivers. Great race. Again, congratulate the top three. There, Kyle Wellman. Devin and Brian's have been there with the top three tonight. Going to be a good point for some of those drives, especially Devin, who, you know, came in late to the league. It's going to help him gain quite a few spots, I would assume, as far as that goes. But um, it is 1040 here in the East Coast here in Pennsylvania. So on that note, I uh, just want to thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for watching. Again, I do apologize for the Bare Bones broadcast. Uh, if I'm back in the booth next week, I will work on getting all the overlays and all the fancy stuff back up again. It has been a year basically since I've had to do this. And I literally jumped in with 10 minutes to go saying, yeah, I'll do it. So, um, and doing race control, I had to have some other stuff up and going on. So, but, uh, luckily the drivers put on a good show. I didn't have to do a whole lot of race control stuff. So that was nice for a change. But, uh, again, as Cog Wellman mentioned tomorrow night, tune in, uh, uh, for the uh, cup cars here at Texas. Um, they got 160 laps tomorrow, open sets. Hopefully we get some two by two, some good racing like we've seen tonight. Hopefully it's not a single groove. I don't know. I got, I haven't done much practice this week. I'm going to do that actually as soon as I let you all go, I'm going to go jump in the cup car and do some practice. So on that note, y'all again, thank you for tuning in and uh, we'll see y'all next time. <laughs>